Um, what I'd like to demonstrate is that a bicycle wheel is not balanced by the skill of the rider, but by the speed that the wheel is spinning. When a bicycle tire is, is just hanging, suspended from a string, it will just hang at equilibrium like any other object. The only thing that makes a bicycle, bicycle tire stable is when it's spinning. So if I take this tire that's just hanging from a string, turn it on its side, and spin it, the tire will remain stable as long as it's spinning. Um, has nothing to do with the skill of the rider or the rider's ability to balance until the wheel is spinning slowly and loses the gyroscopic effect. At that point, when the tire slows down, then it starts to become unstable. And as it slows down to uh, less than about three miles an hour, then it starts to wobble and become unstable. Now, in the real world, with real people on real bicycles, that's when the rider's skill becomes a factor, when the tire, when the wheel no longer has its gyroscopic effect. So um, that's really my point, is that the tire stability is based upon the gyroscopic effect, which doesn't kick in until the bicycle is going somewhere between three and five miles an hour. And otherwise, it just becomes unstable and wobbly, as you'll see in the next videos.